Hi, I'm Robert Garcia, and I'm here at Robert Morgan Technical College at the Automotive Program. You see behind me, we do here is fix and repair cars. I'm gonna show you today how to change a spare tire. Follow me outside. If you were to get a flat tire, here's what you do. You pull along the side of the road, the roadside curve, and you make sure it's a safe area. You want a good distance between the vehicle and the road. Always make sure the vehicle's on a level, plain surface where you can jack up the car safely. Here's where you can find the tools that you need for the job to get done. You open the trunk and you'll have a spacing under the carpet. You have your tools, like your lug wrench here and your torque wrencher. You also have a jack, a scissors jack. You pull all the pieces out, set them aside next to the vehicle, where you decide to perform the job. Next, you will go back and you will grab the spare tire. Most spare tires have a locking mechanism to keep the tire in place in case of a rollover crash for safety purposes. You're going to remove that. Now we're going to begin the process of removing the tire. On this vehicle in particular, you have five lug nuts. Some vehicles may come with more, some may come with less. You're gonna have to use your lug torque wrench to remove those lug nuts. You're gonna have to apply quite a bit of force as these are tightened very securely from the factory. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break the stud so it doesn't have the torque, but I'm not gonna remove the stud completely. Notice that I am using a star crisscross pattern to remove them. Always remove and reapply the lug nuts using a start pattern. Next, we're gonna apply the scissor jack to the pinch weld lift point of the vehicle. I will pre-jack up the jack so that it meets up with the pinch weld and then I will start using the assister. Now I'm going to show you where to place the pieces in order to jack up the vehicle. Put it into the, the fisheye, which goes like that. This is meant to swivel and it won't slide out. Secondary is what you're going to need to give you leverage to lift the vehicle. Once you have both pieces assembled, this is what it should look like. So just to verify that we're on a level surface, sometimes things can happen that are out of your control. We want to make sure that you are safe and the vehicle is safe from endangering yourself or anybody else. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to engage a parking brake. Vehicles tend to have a parking brake on one of two sides. You either have it next to you on the center cause or you have it on the lower portion of your feet. On this vehicle particularly, you, all you have to do is run it back. Now we're going to be in the process of lifting the vehicle. Now I'm going to visually check to see if the vehicle, if the wheel is off the floor. Good to go. Now I'm going to remove this portion of the lifting tool to remove the lug nuts. Make sure when you're removing these lug nuts, you put them somewhere close by where they are still safe, but where you can reach them quickly. Place your foot on the bottom of the wheel if it starts wedging out to help you hold it upright. Now I'm going to remove the wheel. You don't want to bend with your back, you want to pull it out with your arms and roll it away. Now there are two ways to do this. One way is to bend slightly at the knees, shoulder width apart. You prop the wheel to your knees and you're gonna place your hands and roll it upwards in this position. Once you have it up, you're gonna hug the tire. Stand up straight and walk to the back. Next, I'm gonna walk up to the vehicle. I'm gonna slide the wheel in and push it in. Unless you want it within the space of the spare, you can just put it on top of your, 
your rear place mat and take it directly to a tire or dealership to have the tire replaced or fixed. The second position on how to mount the, vehicle or the tire back onto the vehicle in the rear is you roll it as such. You're gonna place the tire on the rear bumper and you're gonna try to shimmy it up with your body pinching it forward. If you can see my knee and my leg is parallel to the tire and all I'm doing is shimming it up. Once I get it up, I can roll it up, put my chest to it, tilt it down and slide. And now we're gonna mount the spare tire onto the vehicle. I'm gonna tilt the tire up like such and roll it forward. Once I get it to the vehicle, I'm going to pivot it so that it aligns with the hub. I'm going to place the tire close to the hub and lift it. If you have a difficult time lifting the wheel, you're going to place the tire on your foot as such and wedge your foot in. Once it slides into the groove, you're going to pinch it and hold it with your foot and your hand. While you're holding, you're gonna grab the first lug nut and place it in. This is to secure the tire on the vehicle. Next, I will put the other four lug nuts in as such. A gentle tug to make sure it's secure. And now I can begin the process of torquing down each individual wheel stud. For this process, we're gonna to have to torque it in a star configuration. One, two, three, four, five. The purpose of that is to make sure that the wheel sits evenly on the hub of the vehicle. I'm gonna use this tool to tighten it. Now that I have it secured it firmly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the vehicle just a little so that the wheel is touching the floor so I can do the final torquing that the vehicle needs. Reinsert the lug mover into the tool and begin the process to lower, which is the reverse of what you did originally, counterclockwise. Slowly lowering the vehicle. Once the vehicle's wheel has made it to the floor and there's just pressure on it, is when you torque it. Now I will complete this process in the same star configuration pattern to secure the wheel. Always remember, when riding on a spare tire, there is a limited speed to go. For this particular tire, you should not exceed 55 miles per hour. If you're trying to figure that out, inside the glove compartment, there should be an owner's manual. And if not, you can use your internet services or mobile phones to find that information out. It is important to stay within that threshold because these tires are not meant to go faster than a certain rating. That can cause a blowout, which can cause your safety and others' safety. Now I will continue to lower the vehicle. I'm gonna place, tool back in as such, and continue lowering in a counterclockwise motion. You will know the vehicle is off the floor because the jack will become loose. You can remove this and turn the rest by hand to make it very simple for you. Remove the jack, finish lowering it completely and remove the tool. Now we're gonna place these components back in the trunk and drive to our local shop. 